So what exactly we are looking for in this phase? As I mentioned on the previous video, we are looking for two kinds of information. Technical information, and I believe we went through some website on the previous video showing you how to get the operating system on the server, how to get other server name, and this is without using any active tools, and how to get an IP for, uh, for, uh, for a user or even for a server, I mean for a machine or for a server. So we are we try to get as much technical information as we can, passive information. I don't want to interact with user. Or we need to get uh, non-technical information. So things like the emails or people contact number or email. So for instance, and actually this is explained more into the last part of the section i can use google to gather information about any target in a very very easy way and we're going to discuss google hacking on the last video of this section so for instance if i'm looking for people in microsoft i can just go and search write a quotation at dot microsoft.com and this is just a proof of concept, sorry, uh, at. And my point here, by writing this quotation, I mean I need to search on whatever have this part exactly, at Microsoft.com. So I'm looking for people with email in Microsoft.com. And I can search for, you know, websites that has uh, people for Microsoft or working in Microsoft. I did that before on some organization and it was very, very easy to get things like I was able to get a CEO email for an organization and contact number. And this will be very effective in social engineering. So if I send one of the employee an email, spoofed email showing that it's coming from his manager, most probably he will open this email or if it has a PDF attachment, he will download this attachment. So it's very easy to convince people about specific uh, task to do if you get that from, uh, if they get an email from someone that uh, like, like their manager or CEO or something like that. So uh, you just keep looking and you may find, maybe I didn't choose the right victim to start with. Maybe they are very careful with it. But eventually you'll be able to get some email uh microsoft so this is an email for instance okay in microsoft and i keep doing i keep doing this way you know definitely there is another way that we're going to explain on the next video some tools will do that on behalf of you but my point is just searching about uh people are very very effective you know it, it show us our activity so for instance if i'm penetrating uh, uh, or, uh, or trying an ethical hacking or on a bank and I start searching for their employee online and I was able to find one of the employee he was he usually used different blogs regarding to stamp his stamp collector so if I was able to capture such information I know that this employee is at work on this bank he's interested in this thing so I can send him a fake email telling him this is a new collection of stamp so most probably, you know, because this is his interest, he, I'll be able to manipulate him and I'll, I can compromise the system through him. So whatever you can gather from about people, this would be very, very useful. So we can use Google by just typing, getting email or even typing information about people. So let me write some random name, John uh, Smith, for instance. It's a very popular name, but, uh, you know, just as a proof of concept. I can check uh, John Smith uh, and since I read I wrote it in specific uh, quotations that means I'm looking for this specific name do not get me John by itself and Smith and if I can write you know like a more precise name and something like that you'll get to know more information I can get to search about this guy in different file not in website so if I type file type for instance file type will allow you to narrow your search on files not on website 
and XLS X, which is Excel sheet. So I'm getting an Excel sheet that includes this name. It could be a payroll. It could be a, a university registration. It could be so you know I can get him in a specific, uh, which most probably ha will have uh, some good information. So Google itself, it's very very handy when it comes to uh, collecting information. I can get information about people as well from some of the website. So a very popular website in gathering information is called people.com and people is written this way where you can search about anyone using anything you know instead of searching in Google and using different terminology. So I can write down a name or an email address or a phone number or anything I know about this user and I can start searching and it will give me a lot of information. I can use a website like Zaba Search. Zaba Search. It's a very, very popular website where it gives some information from for free and some information uh, you have to pay for it. So if you write down any name, I will write a name for instance, and I search, but this is actually, Zaba Search is mainly related to United States while people, it's worldwide. And you click on, sorry, uh, search and uh, you can get this guy name uh, and his phone number and his location and uh, you can even get his previous address where he was living and uh, this is for free get his name and phone number and uh, 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 this is a free part and but if you need to get his uh, job history his uh, criminal background stuff like that you can easily get that information from here so uh, a lot of websites will help you to uh, gather information. What about social network, Facebook, LinkedIn? Actually, this is a very, very, very powerful way to collect information about people, what their friend, their interest, their all kind of information you can get from uh, the social network. So a lot of information you can gather from uh, social network, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter. Uh, so we don't have a specific task right now, but my point is I'm not just checking technical information. I'm checking also non-technical information, personal information, contact number, locations, phone number, address. This will be very, very useful when it comes to planning for our attack. So this is the initial phase in collecting information. On the next video, I'm going to show you some other tool and technique in collecting passive information. So, see you then.